So integer parse int. We're going to pass in the uh, our adbook panel dot get text field for the ISBN. It returns a string. No, it returns a text field. So dot get text. So now we have a string here, and we're going to check if this string, oh, everything in this string is uh, a number. If it's not, it's going to throw a number format exception. All right? And what we're going to do is actually, we're going to create a uh, integer. We're going to call it ISBN here. We're going to set this equal to null for now. Ah, fine, set it to zero. No, 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 you don't need to do this. Just set it to this. Integer parse int get the text. Alright? But if it's not, this thing is gonna throw a uh, an exception. We need to catch that exception, and right now Eclipse isn't catching it for us. It's not giving us the warning, hey, you need to add a try and catch. Sometimes that happens, and when that happens, you need to be aware that, hey, this is going to throw an exception. I need to be aware of it, so I need to put this in a try and catch clause. And what we're going to catch is a number format exception, E. I'm just going to call it E. And what we're going to do when this happens is we're going to pop up uh, a J option pane. Let's copy this here. Um, get text. We're going to say is not a valid. It's not it's not a number. Now let's actually check that out. Enter ISBN, let's say one, then we add a character here, A. And then we add something like, you know, add book to library. Oops, optional is not Oh, sorry about that. Uh, not text field file, text field ISBN. I'm going to rerun our code. Here, 1111, one, one, then there's like a character here, or, you know, add book to library. Hey, this is not a number, but if it if it is a number, say like blah, 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 Okay, um, one. Hold on a moment. One second, one second. I don't know why it's doing that. It's not supposed to throw an exception. This is not supposed to throw an exception. Uh, one second. Ah, okay. No, it's not throwing an exception because remember, this is an integer. And an integer can only be, can only have a certain amount of digits in it. If we want to use something uh, that has more space, we're going to have to use a double or, uh, or something else. But remember, we set our ISBN in our Vim class, uh, in our, uh, our book class, to be an integer. So, yeah, let me just check. Inside our book class, yeah, the ISBN is an integer. And our 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 application is working properly. If you say one, nothing's gonna happen. Add another one there, nothing. 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 Five ones, six digits, seven digits, eight digits, nine digits, ten digits, eleven digits. Okay. So I guess I'm guessing that the maximum amount of digits in an integer is 10. 
Let's actually check out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. What about 9 digits of 9999? Okay. So I guess this is the maximum integer, is it? Uh, let's see. An integer has 4 bytes. 4 bytes. If I, if, I, if I remember correctly, yeah, if I remember correctly, an integer has four bytes. Four bytes, and one byte is eight bits. So four bytes times eight, which is equal to 8, 16, 24, 32. 32. Now, this is binary and 2 to the 32 2 to the uh, 2 no sorry 2 to the 31 because it starts at 0 is if I'm correct and I'm just guessing here In binary, this is uh, 2147483648. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I'm not using a calculator or anything. You know, I think, yeah, so it has four bytes. So this, this should be the maximum integer that we can put in here. Let's actually try that out. Let's see if this is going to give us an exception. It's not a number, but what if we decrease it by 1? Say, instead of 48, it's going to be something like 47. Oh, look at that. Now it's not throwing a number format exception. Because, so I guess this is the maximum integer value that you can use. So this is the maximum integer value. And if we go any higher than that, just one digit higher, one I'm sorry, one number higher, it's going to it's not going to be an integer anymore. It says probably going to uh, um not enough space in the integer because whenever we're declaring an integer, we're assigning it in in assembly, we're assigning it we're assigning it 32 bits of space, 4 bytes of space. And in binary, 2 to the 31st, subtract 1 to it, is this, is this number right here. So yeah, just a little, just a little, uh, I know you guys already know this. Oh, I'm sorry, are you guys catching that? So sorry. Uh, I hope you guys, I hope I was captured on screen, but let me do it again. Yeah, I was talking about, about this throws an exception because it passes the limit of uh, integer storage space. But if I put 7 here instead, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to throw an exception. That's just a little uh, short, quick uh, recap for you guys. Because I know our professor is very, uh, very strict on that got to know your stuff about binary and hexadecimal and stuff like that. Anyways,